Dateline, King City, a city devoted to the glory of God, but in her dark underbelly, there are villains gathering, evil men who seek to steal God's glory. Will King City find her hero? Can she be saved and restored to her former glory? For the answer to these questions and more, tune in every week to the King City Chronicles. Greetings, citizens. I'm glad you're here. We have not heard from the obliterator all week long, but he has done extensive damage all throughout King City. But fear not, Kingdom Crusader and I have developed a plan to rebuild our city. Hey, scripture guy. Oh, yes. I got your message that you wanted to meet me here. Thank you, Casey Carter. Yes, uh, you're just in time. You can help us develop our plan. Oh, what's the plan? Ah, let me show you. Now, as you know, the Obliterator has been building an army of criminals, and he wants to attack all of King City. Huh. The Philistine has showed us where his secret hideaway is, and it's very close to our borders. But we are planning on building a wall around our entire city to protect it from the Obliterator's attack. Hey, one of our sponsors at the King City Herald is a supplier. Oh. I, can, I can get in contact with them and ask if they can donate some bricks, lumber, and cement. Good, good, because Scoop Gibson has been gathering together teams of volunteers to help share the work. Oh, well, that's great. Anything else? Yes, yes, we want to share God's word with everyone in King City. Huh. If everybody will turn their hearts to the Lord, then there's no way the obliterator can harm us. Wait a minute. Yes. I can put in an article at the King City Herald asking people to donate Bibles. That's a great idea, scripture guy. Excellent. You're just like a regular Nehemiah. I'll see you around. Huh. Nehemiah. I hadn't thought of that. But you know, children, Nehemiah is a guy that God used to rebuild the walls around his holy city, Jerusalem. Let me get out the good news and I'll share it with you right now. <laughs> Now, Nehemiah was the cupbearer to the king, and this was a very important job. He had to be very brave because the cupbearer had to take the first drink from the king's cup to make sure that no one had put poison in the king's drink. Now, at this time, the enemies of Jerusalem had burned down the city wall, which once had protected the city. And when Nehemiah found out, he was so sad that he cried and he would not even eat. He prayed that God would help him talk to the king. Then Nehemiah asked the king to let him lead a team to Jerusalem so that they could rebuild those walls. The king showed favor on him, and he wrote letters telling everyone that Nehemiah had the king's permission to rebuild Jerusalem. But while they were working, some men, they were working on the wall, but they were being attacked at the same time by two by a, a group of men led by two angry men named Sanballat and Tobiah. Hmm. Yes, and that would, they would not leave them alone. So Nehemiah placed guards behind them to protect them as they worked. Wow. Now that's what I call teamwork. <laughs> hey, did someone say teamwork? Ah, oh, Kingdom Crusader. I was just telling the kids about Nehemiah. Oh, isn't he the one who helped rebuild the city walls of Jerusalem? That's the one. He lined up families side by side with their own part of the wall to repair, and they carried building supplies in one hand and their weapons in another. Oh, wow. <laughs> Talk about multitasking. Mm. Nehemiah really knew how to put together a team, didn't he? Exactly. I loved his plan. Then you are going to love this. Oh. Look at what Uncle the Philistine just invented. Oh, that is the strangest thing I've ever seen. Yeah. What is that? This is the hammer sword. Hmm. The sword side is for protecting King City. But once all the bad people have gone away, you flip it over and... It's hammer time! Yeah! I think this plan could work if we all work together as a team. Absolutely. Hey, hold on to this. That's okay. the phone. <laughs> hammer sword. <laughs> Hello, Kingdom Crusader here. Yeah! Oh, he loved it. I'll tell him. Hey. Uh, all right. Yes. Oh, awesome. Great. Uh, that was whoop. Right. That was the Philistine. Oh. He said that you can have a hundred hammer swords by tomorrow. Well, that's quick service. Yeah. But you know, the Philistines' inventions have really come in handy lately. I really appreciate. Oh, hold that. I'll get it. Oh, okay. All right. Yes. Watch out. Watch Hello. Out. Oh, it's Casey Carter. It is. 
Yes, yes, he said his, um, his editor uh, said that it's okay to run that ad asking for Bible donations. Oh, good. well, that's good. Oh, oh, and also his supplier is going to supply all of the things we need to complete the wall. Huh. Okay. Thank you, Casey. You're welcome. <laughs> what? Nothing. Oh. Uh, was that the phone ringing? I don't know. I'll get it. <laughs> all right. All right. Hello? Oh, it's Scoop Gibson. It is? Yes. He says that he has a hundred workers ready to meet us at the wall tomorrow. Wow. <laughs> well, well, tell him we have a hundred hammer swords coming. He, he says, what's a hammer sword? Oh, here, let me talk to him. Oh, um, he had to go. Uh-huh. Seems like he hung up. Well, his volunteers will meet us there tomorrow at the, mo at the wall. Well, that's great. It looks, like, it looks like we're building quite a team. Yeah. I mean, we've got the King City Herald on our side. Yeah, and we've got the Philistine on our side. And we've got the building supplier on our side. And we've got a hundred workers on our side. <laughs> hey, we should call this the Nehemiah Project. Oh, I like that. It has a nice ring to it. <laughs> yeah. Now we only need one other person on our side, right? You're right. Who's yes. that? Let me show you. It's just what the Bible says right here. So the wall was completed on the 25th of Elul in 52 days. When all of our enemies heard about it, they, all the surrounding nations were afraid and lost their confidence because they realized that this work had been done with the help of God. Huh. Wow, with God on our side, there's no way we can fail. Yes, we should pray and ask God for his help. You're right. I can't wait until I ask him what we need most. Oh, and we should all ask him together. Let's all pray this together, children. Lord, please help us to give, give everything, everything to honor our king. king. There's work to be done. See you See next you time. Kids.